And they're away and they're racing for the McDowell Signature Indian Derby, even dispatched from the get the old. Richard the Hughes, the reigning champion jockey for the last three years. Always been and about again. the finally executed finesse and on what my interest in horses began at the age of five. I had my first pony, I was very lucky. And I think shortly after that, all I had in my head going through school was to be a jockey. So I was very lucky in life that way. And my father was a, a jockey come trainer. So I'm steeped in, we say, history of racing. And from the time I grew up, I was in a racing yard and watched dad train. And started riding when I was 15 and I became champion jockey, I think, when I was 38 or nine for three years in a row and I was very aware I wanted to go out on top. And now starting my new role as a trainer and my goal is to be champion trainer. Um, it's going to be very hard. It took me 20 years to become champion jockey from the time I started, but anything's possible. The greatest saying of all time in racing is a fool can train a horse and two wise men can't. Because two wise men will never see where they went wrong. I learn as I go along. I, I feel I have enough experience to, it's not rocket science training horses. It's more getting inside their head. What suits them, what doesn't suit them. All builds up from here at home, finding out how they should be ridden. Me and my team are out there every day. I believe horses are always trying to tell you something. If you look, you will find what the answer is. Here at Weathercock House, our day starts at half five up until um, 12 o'clock in the morning. And from the time the first lock go out at half six, which is probably 15 or 17 horses at a time, we're looking to see what's wrong. Are they okay? To make them as fast as they can, basically. So they're looked after like royalty, and our job is to get them in the best, healthiest condition we can find them. And then we pick our races in the morning as well in the office trying to find the best suitable race for horses. Yeah, the only day he was agitated was Chepstock. Me and race planning and jockeys feedback, it's quite consuming. Like you, weigh it, you, lay, it, you lay in bed at night sometimes, why didn't that horse win? The elation of winning is fantastic. When they go past the line and you're in the winner's enclosure, everyone's smiling and laughing. As soon as they get into the car to go home, How's he going to win again? The average guy that's out there that wouldn't mind getting into race, and it's pretty daunting. And you can buy a horse for a thousand pounds up to four million pounds. The most important thing to remember is buying the horse is the cheapest part of it. It's maintaining them and keeping them is the that's the expensive part. We've been very lucky here. We we had a horse for we bought for one hundred and forty thousand euro, and six months later we sold him for a million and a half dollars so that was a great return very quick there's no certainty in this game that's the guy with the two thousand pound horse can beat the guy with the four million pound horse and that's the beauty of this game it's the most wonderful thing about training horses is when you you see a change in a horse but i find the most enjoyable part for owners is to come down in the morning see their horses see what i see every morning see them changing from being the one that's paddy last are gradually improving and they can see it for themselves on the gallops. And then when you go to the races, that's just at the end product of what you've nurtured and got ready. I do pace a bit when I'm at the races. Um, I get very nervous at the start, walk up and down, up the stand, back to the stand, try to look for a lucky spot if I have a winner <laughs> standing here in a certain place. I'm a little bit superstitious that way. The best part of my job is in the morning being around horses. I love them, it's, it's my life, it's my passion. If I wasn't near a horse for a week, I'd start getting <laughs> pains of it to go back home to my horses.